गंगा आए कहाँ से गंगा जाए कहाँ से लहरा बानी में जैसे धूप छाओ रे इज वेरी फेमस सॉन्ग दैट वी ऑल सिंग फ्रॉम बंदिनी द ओरिजिन फ्रॉम वेद सॉन्ग वॉज रियली इंस्पायर्ड वॉज आमा दुबा इली रे आमाए भाषा इली रे अखुरिया जान If this folk song was not there, then this great song that we heard in Hindi would not have been there. And a 70% of legacy of Hindi film songs that we love is actually from roots, which are folk music. And I realized in my journey of my being a composer in Bollywood is that there's so much of it we don't care. I met Rukma Bai in Jaisalmer 10 years back when I was doing an album called Man Ke Man Chire, and The three days that I spent there, the last day she told me, "Sabji, I'll try and do the English in her language. Sabji, I don't feel like singing anymore." And I said, uh, "Why?" He said, "Koi sunne ke liye hai nahi. There's nobody to listen anymore." And that was the trigger of an idea that I think all of us need to do something to protect at least this 300-year-old legacy. And uh, in this in this journey of mine, today I wanted to present a hero. a person who has redefined an instrument which was completely not talked about i'm going to talk about dhak dhak is an instrument in bengal traditionally played in bengal when the festival is over the dhak is kept aside that's the life of the dhak and that's the life of the dhak player and there was this small boy in this village in bengal who didn't want to play the dhak the way dhak is played he wanted to play it little differently unfortunately he didn't have any ink conference to support him and giving that okay it's okay to think differently so his villagers were saying that you know you can't play like that you have to play play like this only and he was so disappointed and disillusioned that he decided not to play it anymore he gave up dhak and a providence of god there was this competition which was happening with a dhak competition in bengal and his villagers said that you know why don't you go and just for our villagers honor why don't you go and play and he said i don't feel like playing he said just for the honor of the village and he went there and he said but i will not play the dhak the way it is played i'll play it differently and they said it's okay and he went there and he played it much to the astonishment for everybody because dhak was never played like that but in that audience as a judge was one very great tabla maestro and i had a chat with don mai and he said you know this is guy is there something different about him he got this small boy onto a gurukul where classical music tabla bowls were taught on an instrument which was never played like that and they got both these schools together and that was the birth of gokul das and gokul das has gone on to play with zakir husain and with ravi shankar traveled all around the world he has got this thick a passport and 5000 villages in bengal the students want to play dhak because they want to travel like gokul das presenting gokul das before i start what i'll do is that i will demonstrate to you that how was dhak traditionally played and how did he break it that will be the second part of it pagulda and this is what generations of people have played like till this bug called creativity hit gokuldas and see he what 
he tried to do with his instrument. Now that he's, what he's playing is pure non, non dhag bowls learned from tabla. The amalgamation of classical music and folk instruments have come together with learned the tabla bowls from the maestro and how has he adapted on the instrument? Please.
Dr. Das. He just rediscovered this instrument. It's phenomenal. It's traveling around the world. That's Gokul's son who has joined it. In a profession which they didn't want to play an instrument which was getting lost, they have rediscovered it.